Hi, this is Verdi from the Saunaheader.com. Today I'm reporting to you from the Saunus factory and headquarters from the capital of Estonia, Tallinn. And I'm joined with... Karolina. Who is a marketing director at Saunu. So, as you can see, we have the Saunum devices uh, behind us. And Saunum is solving a pretty unique problem in the sauna market. So could you talk about the problem that Saunum is solving a bit? Okay. So Saunum is an innovative sauna technology company, and we're best known for uh, developing, producing, and selling uh, sauna heaters that have an inbuilt climate device, as well our smart control system and uh, automatics that are really ahead of their time. So the main problem that saunas nowadays have is that sauna climate isn't actually healthy for you. So what basically happens is that during the industrial revolution, we always wanted to make things more easy, more quick. And uh, this goes for saunas as well, because as uh, many might know, for us, for Estonians, the idea of sauna comes from traditional smoke saunas that are now also a UNICEF World Heritage Site. So, and with their original smoke saunas, they were usually small little cottage-like houses with no windows, with uh, no chimney. And the sauna oven was really, really huge and had a large stone mass. So you had to heat up the sauna for about seven to 10 hours. And this created a really good sauna climate with even temperature. It was really mild and soft and uh, people go to the sauna and they enjoy it much more and for a longer period of time. But during the Industrial Revolution, everything's changed because we created electric heaters, our saunas became smaller, and the most important part was to how to heat it up the quickest way possible. But this created the problem that we have, that the sauna climate isn't right anymore. So basically, in almost every sauna, the air is layered. So the hot air gathers to the top of the room, and the colder, cooler, oxygen-rich air yep. gathers near the floor. And uh, so this creates a problem where our, our head is scratching hot and our feet are actually cold. And our whole body doesn't get the same amount of heat and humidity in the sauna. And this creates uh, sauna fatigue, dizziness, headaches and yep. so on. Yeah. So you can enjoy the sauna as long you, as you, you might like yes. to. Yes, That's exactly. Why the sauna sessions are quite short nowadays. They are quite Correct. short, yes. And it's more about suffering than enjoying yourself. Because people usually go into the sauna and they just try to count the minutes, how long they can stay in there. Yeah. But you shouldn't think about that. You should stay in the sauna for 20 minutes, 30 minutes at a time to get all the benefits from the sauna. Yeah, and it should be so enjoyable that you don't really look at any timer and think, when is this going to end? So. Yes. The aim of the sauna is not to make it as hot as possible. But we have heard that a lot of people, especially in the US, do in the market that we supply, is that they heat up their sauna up to 110 Celsius, which is 230 Fahrenheit. And then they go there to suffer for 10 to 15 minutes and hope to get some health benefits. Then they feel pretty bad afterwards, very dehydrated. And yeah, mm -hmm. as you said, their head might be dizzy because the air is very hot here, but then it's colder towards the bottom of the sauna. So this is this is not how the saunas are meant to be used. And not at all, yes. So, so we think that uh, we always say that you should come out of the sauna feeling better than you did before. And many people think that they will get a really good night's sleep after the sauna, but it's actually your organism needing a rest because <laughs> it was a little bit traumatized in the sauna because your brain didn't get enough oxygen and the temperatures were really, really high and there was yeah. not enough humidity in them. So Saunum has a solution for this problem? We do, yes. Okay. <laughs> so, um, yes, the solution actually um, came to our inventor, Andros Vara, uh, when he understood as a little boy that he doesn't actually enjoy going to the sauna as much because so much of our Estonian customs and traditions and also history revolves around sauna. So it's pretty much a sin to say that you don't really like going to a sauna, yeah. but it's a common problem that people have. Mm -hmm. So, but he really liked his own grandparents' old smoke, traditional smoke sauna. 
So he, as a thermal engineer, decided that he needs to do something about it. So he wanted to create the smoke sauna-like climate in smaller saunas with an electric heater. So he came up with the idea that in order to have the best sauna climate, uh, you need to blend the air somehow. And now we have heaters with inbuilt air mixing systems. And uh, what is the background of Saunum? So how, how long ago was the first heater built and uh, how have you grown as a company since then? Okay, so basically he developed his first heater for himself about 20 years ago already. Yeah. So, and he used the heater in his own home sauna. He had some friends, family and uh, people coming over and everybody just loved it. So some of his friends told him that you should produce these because we want one as well. Uh, but And now we have been in the market for about three years only. Okay. Yes. And you just entered the US market earlier this yes, year. Yes, we just entered the US market. So lucky us in North America, yes. Salmon is now available in North America too. Did you have uh, had a lot of challenges entering a new market overseas? Well, there are always challenges entering new countries, new markets, but we are so new, so we haven't really seen any difficulties. Maybe only that in our region, in Europe, everybody knows what saunas are, but in the US, it's only right now gaining popularity. Yeah. So this is why when here we talk about the solution in the US, we need to talk about a little bit what sauna is, what are the benefits of sauna, why sh people should go into the sauna and so on. Yeah, we need to educate the customers not only about the sauna heaters, but also about the saunas themselves. And also every time a company enters the US, you need to get a lot of uh, certifications like yes. you got the UL listing. Yes, we was that a difficult process? Would you say? Um, I I wouldn't say it's, it was a difficult process because we do a lot of testing on our heaters every day, day to day, yeah. almost twenty four seven. So it wasn't difficult because we knew that our heaters are really really safe. Yeah. But of course, in the US market, there are certain like regulations mm -hmm. that we had to meet. Yeah. And we did, and we got the heater, you are certified. I think you were able to meet everything quite quickly, considering that you started producing only three years ago, and you have been supplying Europe this far now, yes. entering the US market. Mm -hmm. And now we are trying to certify more and more products, so... Yeah, so there will be a lot of new inventions coming yes. out from yes. Saunum in the near future. Mm -hmm. So to talk a little bit about your personal background, how did you end up the Saunum, and uh, how did that go? Um, so for me, when I first heard about Saunum, the, the concept was so, so interesting for me. Like I've said, uh, sauna is, is a part of every Estonian's everyday life. Yep. We, we know what sauna is. It's one of our first words in our vocabulary. We know what it is since birth. Babies go into the saunas. People give birth in the saunas and so on. Our grandparents go to the saunas and so on. So basically, I only understood that we have a problem in our saunas when I read and heard about sauna. So it is really, really interesting for me that you can take something that is so traditional and make it new, make it better and make it more technical, yep. basically. I like to think that we are changing the world and changing the world of saunas one sauna at a time. So we are, yes, we are introducing healthier sauna options to everybody. And actually, we always say that we have gotten a 100% positive feedback yep. on the sauna effect. So of course, we haven't spoken to every sauna user or every, everyone who has went into a sauna sauna, but we have been playing with this sentence for quite a while now and we have gotten no negative responses like somebody saying that I went to a saunum sauna and I didn't feel the effect. Nobody. Everybody who uh, tries the saunum sauna at least once falls in love with it and we have so much feedback. People saying that they don't want to go to a regular sauna anymore because they know what a really nice enjoyable sauna feels like now. Yeah, it's great to market. It must be great to market something that people actually love and people actually would like to use. Yes, definitely. And people actually enjoy because there is also a lot of marketing jobs that you have to just market the product that is not really good. 
but you have found a unique position where you can actually market something that yes. everyone loves. Yes, and luckily we have six saunas in our office. So. <laughs> so you can enjoy the sauna every day after the work. If I want to, yes. Or even during with clients or customers <laughs> yes. or retailers like mm -hmm. us. We have seen uh, the facilities here with my team. So there is a lot of uh, developers and engineers, mm -hmm. like I think more than 30, 30 of those. Mm -hmm. So as a marketing marketing person, how is it like working with such a technical people? <laughs> Do you know what I mean? So um, it's, it's really, really interesting uh -huh. uh, because um, I don't know much about the technical parts. Mm -hmm. I know as much as I need to know, mm -hmm. uh, but they do. So I always like to emphasize that I uh, look sound through the eyes of the end customer. And, and even sometimes I don't want to know about the little things like little developments, little fixing of the box or anything like that. I know I want to know the results. So um, yeah, it's quite uh, it's quite interesting. <laughs> yeah, it's an interesting dynamic. I work with many engineers myself and software developers, and mm -hmm. I can tell you that they are mm -hmm. sometimes wired a bit differently than yeah, us. They are. People. <laughs> they are, and I always say, talk to me like I was a five-year-old <laughs> when you're explaining the technical parts to me, please. Yeah, me too. I use that with ChatGPT all the time. <laughs> Um, how is the future of Saunum looking like? Uh, the future of Saunum is that we're definitely going to do more developing, uh, definitely new, some new products and maybe some new concepts mm -hmm. that nobody mm -hmm. else has ever thought about. Mm -hmm. So basically we want to start producing and building. You know how you have smart houses? Yep. So a whole smart sauna. Smart sauna. Mm -hmm. That's a good idea. Yes. Any final words you would like to say to our listeners, viewers? So what I would like to emphasize is, again, sauna shouldn't be about suffering. Mm -hmm. Sauna should be about relaxing, rejuvenating, recovering. And if you don't like going to the sauna, the problem isn't about you. There is always a solution. Yeah, exactly. So this was Verdi from the saunaheater.com and Carolina from Sauna. Thanks.